So in this video, we are going to find the stationary points of this curve without using calculus. Okay, so the way that we do this is we put it equal to k. Okay, so this is effectively saying we've got a horizontal line y equals k. If I put the curve equal to that, I can then turn this into a quadratic problem, use the discriminant in order to find the stationary points. Okay, the points where that curve intersect that line uh, at precisely one point. Okay? So, multiplying up by the x squared plus 4x plus 6, we're going to get x squared take away 4 is equal to kx squared plus 4kx plus 6k. Rearrange to get 0 on the left hand side, everything else onto the right. So we're going to have k x squared take away x squared, so take k take away 1 x squared plus the 4k x plus the 6k and plus the 4. So we're going to need the discriminant to be equal to 0. So 4k all squared take away 4 lots of k take away 1 times 6k plus 4 equals 0. So 16k squared take away 4 lots of, now I need to expand these double brackets, 6k squared, um, we've got 4k take away 6k, so take away 2k take away 4 equals 0. So 16k squared take away uh, 24k squared plus 8k plus 16 equals 0. I could have divided through by 4 actually there. That probably would have been uh, quicker, but I'll keep going this way. Uh, so 16k squared take away 24k squared is minus 8k squared, like that. If I divide through by minus 8, I get k squared take away k, uh, take away 2 equals 0. Right? So, um, this factorises to k take away 2, k plus 1 equals 0. So either k equals 2 or k equals minus 1. So these are your y coordinates. Okay? So 2 and minus 1 are the y coordinates of your stationary points. So what you need to do is then work out the x values. Now, the way to do that is to substitute these values of k back in to your quadratic that you have here. So when k is equal to 2, then what we're going to get if we substitute it in is 0 is equal to 1k, one 1x one squared, just x squared, uh, plus 8x. Uh, then we've got 6 lots of 2, so 12 plus 4 is 16. And so by design, this should give you one solution for x. Otherwise, we've been in trouble. And so x is equal to minus 4 there. So we've got one stationary point at minus 4, 2. And now with k equals minus 1, we do the same job. Minus 1, take away 1. So minus 2x squared, uh, then take away 4x, then we've got minus 6 plus 4, so minus 2. If I divide through by minus 2, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1, which is x plus 1 squared. So you should get perfect squares here. And so x is equal to minus 1. So we have minus 1 minus 1 are stationary points. Okay, and so that is the method of how we can do this.